Hey Spooky Loves, welcome back to another video here on Pumpkin and Gray, or welcome if you're new here. I am vlogging a lot more this October, so today is going to be another one of those October vlogs. I have a lot of random, really cool things to share with you. I did a Walmart pickup order this morning, and it is nothing but Halloween treats and pumpkin food. I needed to stock up for our Friday Halloween movie nights that we do every Friday with the kids, and also because I like to make their lunches spooky this time of the year. So I got tons of Halloween-themed food, Nightmare Before Christmas drink, all kinds of cute stuff to share with you. I also have dinner going in the crock pot right now. It smells so delicious and cozy. I'll share that recipe with you. And I also have a new Halloween ambiance on the TV that I have to share. The minute I found it, I thought I have to share with my YouTube family. I literally just got out of the shower, blow dried, straightened, and did my makeup. So my hair is a little crazy. I like day two and three hair better than fresh, so. We're just gonna have to deal. But I do have my little spooky season shirt on. This one is from Shein, and I'm just excited for all the fall vibes. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I put Halloween ambiance videos on my TV literally every single day, seven days a week. And for some reason, I've never typed in Hocus Pocus background, I believe is what I actually typed in, Hocus Pocus background. And this one came up of the Sanderson Sisters Cottage. And if you listen, it's playing the entire film score of Hocus Pocus. So when I get in my car, I put on Pandora and I have a Halloween station, I have thumbs up all the Hocus Pocus film score uh, tracks that come on. So it comes up a lot for me, but I've never seen this one on TV. So if you listen, oh, it is so beautiful. And it's literally all of them. So here's another one. Oh, it's so good, so I'm gonna have that in the background today. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the Walmart Halloween haul. I have so many things. Now, let me just say, my kids eat healthy a lot. I make good dinners and fruit and vegetables with their lunches and their dinners and the whole thing. These are going to be very spaced out. Like, I don't just like, this isn't gonna just go in my cabinet and let my kids have a free for all. It's like for one snack in their lunch every day and after school treat and then Halloween movie nights on Fridays. But there's some stuff for me in here too and I cannot wait. I'm literally about to eat something when I'm done filming this and it'll be something in this bag. All right, the first thing I had to grab, I'm just such a sucker for the packaging. It's the best this time of the year. These are the little mini cheese balls that I put in their lunches. They love these, so of course, Halloween time. It just, everything tastes better during Halloween and Christmas. It's an actual fact. So there's 32 bags in here and look at this up close. Is that not the cutest packaging? The little Frankenstein and the Dracula with the haunted house. And then you have the two different bags inside. So I'll be using these for lunches for sure. All right, next, our pumpkin spice frosted flakes. I have never tried these. Let me know in the comments if you've tried them yet. I know they're obviously limited edition like they always are. I'm hoping that they're delicious. I love the pumpkin spice Cheerios. I have had them multiple years in a row. I believe they came out like three years ago, whatever. I get them if I see them, but I've never seen the frosted flakes and I love frosted flakes. I don't actually do cereal a lot. I do the intermittent fasting, so I don't eat till 11, so I don't eat breakfast a lot. But anyways, I'm so excited for this. It'll be something I can have as like a snack and I think my kids are gonna like it. I'm hoping it's as good as the Cheerio one. It's like a good balance that one is. It's not too pumpkin spice, but it's just so cute. Like he's wearing a little puffer vest because it's fall. <laughs> I can't. All right, next I got fruit roll-ups. I think I'm also going to use, I forgot to mention, I'll make a video if I do this, but I think I'm going to make the kids Halloween goodie bags for their class. I have a lot of like Halloween rings and vampire teeth and things in bulk. So I think I'm going to make at least Salem in kindergarten, but probably Grand Bear in fourth grade, both of them. I don't think Wyatt will want me to make them for his class because he's, you know, a teen now. So I'll definitely do it for the younger ones though. And I thought some of these would be cute in those bags too. These are the Fruit Roll Up Mini Rolls in Screamin' Strawberry. So good. The packaging is absolutely adorable on these. I love it. And again, they're the minis, which I like because if I use them for school lunches, I want them to be smaller anyways. But now that I'm thinking about it, minis are so good for little treat bags. Also grabbed the Welch's Fruit Snacks. These are like our favorite fruit snacks in the house, Glenn loves fruit snacks. It's so funny. That man's in the gym like every day of the week, eats so good and clean, and then cannot stop himself around fruit snacks. But these ones are really good. And all of my kids like them too. So they are the little mixed fruit ones and they have, look at these little different shapes for Halloween. 
We have a jack-o'-lantern, a haunted house, a bat, a ghost, and the witch is my favorite, of course. So cute. We've already had these so far this year, but none of the other things, so I'm excited. I had to get more Little Debbie things. I, we have had these, um, not the other one, but I love Little Debbies. There's something so nostalgic about Little Debbie. If you were a 90s babe, I feel like we were raised on Little Debbie items, products, and the Pumpkin Delights are just so good. And my kids actually love these. Sometimes things can be too pumpkin-y for them, but these they enjoy. And I actually think they're very pumpkin-y. Um, but they're just so cute. It's like, is it Halloween if you haven't had a Pumpkin Delight? You know, so grab those. And then my favorite are, oh, well, actually I have two favorites. The pumpkin brownies, which I did not get this time. We've already had them. Um, and then these, the little fall party cakes. I have a Goose Creek order coming today with some Halloween candles. If it comes in time, I'll add it in this video. The packaging, by the way, side note on Goose Creek candles is such a 10 out of 10. It is so much better than Bath and Body Works. I'm sorry, but the packaging is just cuter. Anyways, it made me think of that because they have a fall party cakes Little Debbie collab on Goose Creek's website right now. Um, there's actually, I think there's a pumpkin delight too. I'm pretty sure both of these are in candle form and I think that is the cutest thing ever. I almost got it, but I think the other ones were on sale and that one wasn't, so I was like, no. Anyways, I love these. Let me know if you love them too. They have the chocolate ones. I can never find the chocolate for some reason at my Walmart. I prefer the chocolate always over vanilla, but these are so delicious, so classic. All right, I added these on very last minute because it was like a suggestion they got me. Um, this is just the Great Value brand though, so I don't know how they're gonna taste. Hopefully they're good. They actually had really, really good reviews. I believe they had like a perfect score in the reviews, so I'm sure they'll be fine. Great Value can be like hit or miss in my opinion. Um, but they're Halloween tortilla chips. So of course I added them. I believe they were like a dollar fifty, and I like having chips on my charcuterie boards for Friday night movie nights. Glenn and I like them with salsa or cheese. So I'm very excited to have these. I loved how just like to the point this was. It's like Halloween tortilla chips, like in case you were confused. And then the little ghost and the colors are actually so bright. I loved how bright that orange was. So, and I know it's not good because it's dyed and I get that, but it's like pick your poison in today's world and I'm gonna buy the holiday snacks. So really excited about these. I also grabbed a little bag of the pumpkins and the ghosts and the bats. There's three, How, okay, there's three of them. The little Reese's assorted like snack size ones. Like I said earlier already, everything tastes better when it's Halloween or Christmas shaped slash packaged. That's just how it works in life. So these are the best Reese's of all time, followed by the Christmas tree ones. And I've already shared my Halloween home tour. I'll link that down below if you haven't seen it. By the way, thank you for all the sweet comments. Seems like you guys are really enjoying that video and it makes me so happy. Um, but I have cookie jars that are sitting on top of my bread holder and they're both empty right now. So I'm gonna fill probably the Frankenstein from Target with these little babies. All right, next I grabbed these sugar cookies that we've probably all seen, probably most of us have had. They always have them at Walmart for all the different holidays. And I'm sorry, but these things are good. And I don't even like sugar cookies. Like they're not my thing. I'm a chocolate girl. So if it doesn't have chocolate, it doesn't feel super dessert-like to me. But my kids love these and they are so soft. They're like the softest cookie you'll ever have. If you've never tried them, this is what they look like. They have them at Christmas time with like green and red frosting. Um, but they're just good. So I figured I would use these for school lunches and I might also put them on my little spider cookie. It's a cake stand, but I put cookies in it a lot when the current ones are gone, but they're just like, again, it's like classic. I don't know. My kids love them. Speaking of cookies, I also got a Betty Crocker pumpkin spice cookie mix. I have never tried this one. It had really good reviews. It's just like a classic pumpkin spice cookie. And then you can put frosting on top, of course. Yeah, this one just recommends using like a buttercream cream cheese frosting. Um, I don't know if I'll do that or not because like the kids will eat these and I would eat these over that. And I kind of like it more like spicy with less of the sugar like frosting on it. But either way, I'm very excited to bake these. I think they're gonna be delicious. Next, the very loud crinkly bag. But I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this bag. We have not had the classic caramel apples yet. And 
everybody in my house is obsessed with these. I got five of them. There's two more in the bag down here so each of us can have our own. We'll get these a few more times before Halloween is here. We usually get them from our local pumpkin patch and they didn't have any that I saw. Um, I think they had the candy ones. Let me know if you're a candy apple or a caramel apple fan because usually people have a side on this and I am a caramel apple all the way. Oh my God. Smells so good. I am caramel apple all the way. I actually don't really like the candy apple ones. If you aren't familiar with the difference, the candy are the ones that are coated in like that red, shiny sugar material. And then the caramel apples, of course, are caramel with the peanuts on top. There's just nothing more classic fall to me than a good caramel apple, especially these ones packaged like this. This is what I grew up eating. I do want to do like a homemade caramel apple board for the kids where they can have different toppings. That was on my bucket list, so I'm gonna do that. But I had, I had to get the classics. I had to get the goods. Okay, I also grabbed this limited edition Pepperidge Farm pumpkin spice bread. It is the thick slices. I am so excited for this. This, this is what I was talking about when I said I'm going to go make a piece when it's 11. Oh my God, it's pumpkin spice thick bread and I'm a bread fan. So this already looked so good. Oh my God, it smells, it smells incredible. It smells like pumpkin being baked in the oven. Oh, I'm gonna love this, I can already tell. And it's got like a swirl of, I'm guessing, cinnamon that kind of goes throughout. Look how delicious. Oh my gosh, yeah, it says, every slice of our golden baked bread has the aroma and delicious taste of pumpkin spice and cinnamon swirled right in. I die, like I cannot wait to enjoy a piece of this soon. But to make it even better, I got pumpkin butter. Now I've never had this before, I don't know who I am, You'd think I would have had this a million times by now. I've never had pumpkin butter before. I, let's just do it. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. This one had really good reviews. It was the only one I saw and it was the Great Value brand. Oh my God, look at this. Look at it. Oh yeah. Oh, I can't wait. So my thought was we need to have a slice of the pumpkin spice bread with the pumpkin butter on top. And then just to really take it there with your pumpkin spice stoke cold brew. This is where I'm at in life right now. This is my current state of mind. Okay, and then the last item from Walmart is this Nightmare Before Christmas Frog's Breath Punch Kit. I am so pumped to do this on Friday with the kids. Nightmare Before Christmas is in the cauldron that my kids pick from to pick out their movie for the night. They take turns. Um, and I'm hoping that they get it, but if not, we're probably gonna make these anyways. It includes your drink mix, gummy frogs, and your sugar for your rim. And it makes 10 cups of punch. They had a few different ones like this, and I cannot wait. There's even a little jack on the back that you can like make a little mask of him. But look how cute these are. Frog's breath punch, come on, it's so freaking cute. Maybe I should wait until one of the kids. I probably will wait till one of the kids pools nightmare before Christmas because then I could be like, oh, and surprise and put this out with their board. And I obviously want us to like make it all together. I just love these little kits. It was like $4 and it had such good reviews. Walmart has a few of those kits that are like, this is not a great value brand obviously because it's like Disney, but they did have a few of the great value brand kits like witch cookies and ghost ones. And a lot of them don't get good reviews and my guess is that the actual cookie inside tastes kind of like dry or whatever. But they had a bunch that were like real Disney brand, like this one, and I am so excited. They had an Oogie Boogie one, I can't remember what the, like I don't remember what it made, but if this one's good, I'll be getting more. I am surrounded by so much happiness right now. Oh my God, okay. So I'm gonna take you into the kitchen and share the crock pot meal now. Let me know down in the comments though before we do that what your favorite item from the Walmart haul was, like which one you would want to eat first. And then we're gonna go make this together in a minute. I wish you guys could smell this crock pot before I share tonight's dinner. I'm just gonna load these up in here. Like I said, I thought I was going to do. They're such cute cookies too. Like they're just so sweet, you know? My kids are gonna love seeing those. All right, let's put these over here where I keep my little cake stand and then let's put the spider 
top or back one. Look how cute that looks. Oh, it's so Halloween, especially with the black spider. I love it. So cute. Okay, crock pot time. Ooh, we're steaming up. Okay, so I know this looks a little crazy right now, but all crock pot meals do until you've you know, finished it. This is called Mississippi chicken and I have not tried this yet. So I will insert something to let you know what my thoughts were, but it was so easy to make. You do have to like more of like a spicy, tangy chicken. So this was so easy to make. You're gonna spray the crock pot with like a pan and then cut up one medium onion and place it in the bottom of the crock pot. And then I layered four chicken breast on top and then it requires two different packs of seasoning. One is like the Hidden Valley Ranch pack of seasoning, like the dry powder. And then one is called like Aju. I'm gonna say that wrong, Aju. <laughs> I'll, list it. I'll put the link to where I found this recipe in the description box. But you put the two packets, just sprinkle it over top of your chicken. And then you place 10, around 10 of the pepperoncinis in there. And then you take an entire stick of butter, <laughs> cut it up into little pads of butter and place it all around. And then you do three fourths cup of the pepperoncini juice, just from the can, of course, of the pepperoncinis. Pour that all over top and then let it do its thing on low for six to seven hours. So I started this this morning, it'll be done around four o'clock. And then I'm going to shred it all up and serve it with mashed potatoes and corn. But you could do like whatever. I mean, I'm gonna do gravy, mashed potatoes and corn, but it looked so good in the pictures and literally it smells so like cozy and like there's a tang to it because of the peppers, which were like a big spice family. So I, I'm so excited for this. Look at it. Yeah, this one's gonna be good. I can already tell. I am going to go edit this video while I wait for my Goose Creek candles to arrive and then I will insert that footage into this video as well and then I'll keep you posted about the dinner. But let me know if you guys are liking these kind of videos. I feel like I just, we have a lot coming up in life that I keep hinting at that I still can't talk about but I will soon and once that's all happening, I plan to vlog like crazy and I just, you know, let me know your thoughts if you like these style videos. I will always do my more sit down formal in my kitchen you know, unboxings and my decorate with me's and all of that as well. But it's very nice for me now that my kids are in school to just kind of take you along on my day. So let me know. I've already filmed like three of these. You've probably only seen one kind of vlog, October vlog, but let me know your thoughts on it. And I will definitely keep doing these. Some of my days are just boring. I'm editing, cleaning, but I still kind of just want to take you along because like, why not? It's better than not having extra videos. I'd rather do like three to four videos a week eventually, even if some of them are just literally like dropping the kids off, going to Dunkin', hitting a few stores, running errands, whatever. Um, I always make sure my days are cozy no matter what. Like it's an important part of my life. So there'll always be touches of all of that in my videos anyways, so. I mean, I'm just rambling now, but I will get back on here and share that Goose Creek candle, Halloween candle order when it comes. All right, the candles just arrived. And can I just say, this is gonna sound like I'm hating on Bath & Body Works and I'm not. I obviously love them. Like my favorite candles of all time come from them, but I place a lot of online orders and every single time, every time, candles come shattered and I have to contact customer service. That's because they put theirs in this little tiny, cardboard box and that's it in the big box. It drives me insane. Goose Creek, they're all individually sat down in this protective material and then there was a whole other thing on top. It is so much better. And the packaging, like I told you, oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so yeah, I wanna start with this one. The other three, the packaging is like 10 out of 10. This one's just like cute, but the others are amazing. This is butterscotch toasted marshmallow it's golden butterscotch marshmallow fluff caramel maple and sweet cinnamon sugar oh my god this one it reminds me of like so this one i'm getting like a very it's funny because there's a coffee on the front and even though coffee is not part of it that's what i pick up on it smells like a toasted marshmallow latte it is sweet it is coffee like Look how cute, I mean, it's delicious. It smells phenomenal. All right, next, this packaging. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying it, I'm sorry. But this one is Spiderweb Pancakes. Look at it. I mean, they just do it so well. It's definitely more of like a cartoonish or childlike packaging than some of Bath and Body Works. 
but I love it. Like it's freaking Halloween. Give me the 90s vibes. I don't need some pretty beautiful packaging. I want a spider cupcake with a spider on top. Like this is what I need. So this one is maple pancakes, blackberries, butter, syrup, and vanilla. Oh my God. Yeah, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. I cannot wait to burn this. It reminds me of the maple, what is it like maple blueberry pancake or something from Bath and Body Works. It, it smells like you are baking fresh berry pancakes on a Sunday morning. Oh, it is so good. Wow. It's like lingering in the air already. This one's going to be amazing. I'll report back. But like I can already tell I love like a blueberry scent. And so with the sweet maple syrup, it's fall, it's cozy, it's delicious. Okay. Look at this one. <laughs> this one is called Graveyard Ghost. So it's going to be the complete opposite of like a sweet candle. Look how cute he is. I even love that blue color. This little friendly ghost, his sheet. It's so cute. So Graveyard Ghost is Cool Waters, Graveyard Mist, Bergamot, and Cedar. Yeah, this one's like, oh, it's so good. These are my favorite kind of scents of all time. It's earthy. It smells like you would think a graveyard would smell. It's like musk. Is musk in there? Yeah, graveyard, no, graveyard mist, but it's it's very earthy. It definitely has that bergamot, it's strong. You all know bergamot and patchouli are like my favorites. But it also has like a, almost like a clean vibe behind it. Not like too laundry, but it's in there. This is the one my kids are gonna flip over. I had to get it. If you've seen my Frankie boy, it looks just like him. This one is called Black Cat. And I mean, come on. It's obviously the cutest out of all of them. Oh, his little head tilted to the side. So Black Cat is vanilla musk, marshmallow, campfire woods, and sandalwood. Yeah, this is my favorite. I knew this was going to be my favorite. This is like a toasted marshmallow by Bath & Body Works, but honestly, I have to burn it to see how the throw is. But there's like more to it. The vanilla musk kind of elevates it a little bit. So it's got marshmallow, campfire wood, so it's got that burnt marshmallow, toasted marshmallow scent, very strong, which I love. Like in this, in the butterscotch, it's way like sweeter. That one is like, whoo, like sweet. Coffee, 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 coffee. This is like, mmm, earthy. This is my kind of marshmallow. That one smells so good too, but this is like earthy marshmallow, toasted marshmallow vibes. That musk and sandalwood. Good God, this might be a new favorite. And again, with the packaging, oh, I hope these burn like they smell cold because they are so good. Let me know which one sounds the best to you. Black Cat, Butterscotch, Toasted Marshmallow, the Graveyard Ghost, or the Spiderweb Pancakes, which is like the blueberry one. All right, loves, I'm going to wrap up today's vlog here. I hope that you enjoyed this kind of random, just day in the life vlogtober type style video. I am so excited to eat that crock pot meal tonight. I would have already put something on the screen by now to let you know what my thoughts were. Um, and if we liked it, I will list it down in the description box, a little link to the Pinterest account that I found it on. Thank you so much for watching these videos. It means the world to me and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye loves. <laughs>